everybody, grace and peace. My name is Paul Desai, I'm the pastor at Sandy Hook United Methodist Church with our Wednesday Q&A. The question today is, where do I start in reading the Bible? Um, whether I'm trying to get back into the Bible or uh, starting for the first time, where should I start in the 66 books of the Bible? It's quite overwhelming, isn't it? Uh, so here, here's my simple answer. Start with the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, there's four of them. Uh, and that's the heart of the Bible because there's stories that tell us about Jesus. And here's the thing, the, the purpose of the Bible, the whole purpose of the Bible is to point to Jesus. Uh, scriptures testify about him. So reading the stories about Jesus is kind of the point. And so I advise you to read over and over and over again. Now, don't get me wrong, the rest of the Bible is fully inspired and has its place, uh, but they help us make sense of Jesus. Uh, they kind of lead to Jesus or follow up Jesus. Uh, and so you start with Jesus, and then everything else will kind of fill in. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, read them over and over again. Uh, the rest of the Bible is important, but really focus in on getting to know the Jesus stories. Uh, and the more that you learn about him, the more you'll understand his love and how much he loves you and how much he desires for us to share that love back to him and the world around us. Um, so, and as you immerse yourself in the stories of Jesus, you find your place, you find your calling, you find what God is uh, asking you to do in this uh, crazy world that we live in. Uh, and once you spend time in the Gospels, then you know the book of Acts and Paul's letters and the rest of the New Testament and then the Old Testament and it all kind of fits in around Jesus. Uh, that is my advice to you uh, because the rest of the Bible helps prepare you to meet Jesus. Uh, so as you begin or renew your uh, Bible reading journey, uh, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus and that's the best place to start and the surest way to grow in your faith. Bless you, grace and peace to you on your journey.